In the second part, we use six different movements, and each movement is named by a letter. And the first movement is the A, and I will show you the A. So that's the A. Uh, to um, explain you briefly the movements, you go with your right hand to your right hip, then you fold your arms right and left, you bend over, then you come up and the right hand you place on your right leg. So we have right hip, right left, and hand. Right hip, right left, and hand. In the counts, that gives the following thing. One, two, three and four. One, two, three, four. And hip, right, left, hand and weight. One, two, three, four. So that's the arm. Now I will show you the B. Okay, so for the B, we start with the right hand and then left hand, and they bounce like this in your waist. You can really drop them and let them fall. So you have right, left, then you stretch out the right arm behind you, then the right arm comes in and you turn your hand palms like this. You go over, then you come up with the right hand going through the hair and the left hand going like this over your belly. And so we have right, left, Right arm in, and we come up. Right, left, right, and up. In the counts, it gives the following thing. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. That's the B. Uh, next, I will show you the C. This is the C. Okay, so for the C, you begin like this. Your, your hands, they come a bit in and then out. Also, your elbows out sideways. And with your, both your hands, you take the the back of your skull, and you pull yourself upwards like this. Then the hands come over the head, they drop, they fall down, but immediately you take your right breast and then you fall down and you place your right hand next to your right foot like this. Make sure you, you twist your head a little bit. Eh? When you go like this, sometimes you hurt your knee, that's painful. So go like this. Then you slowly come up. Yeah? So you have two hands, we have the right breast, and we have to drop and we come up so we have one and two and three and four and one two three and four and hands breast drop and that's the C the next movement I will show you is the D So that's the D. Uh, to do the D, you're going to change your hands like this. You come and curl them in, you make fists, and then you bring your arms onto your legs like this. And that makes your trunk come uh, over yeah, like this, hops. Then when you're down to come up, you take your head with the right hand and you come all the way up. You go through your hair and the left hand from this fist, you will just, you will just turn it around. Yeah? One more time. So hands curl in, you make fist, you have one, and you come up, two, and three, and pull four, and one, two, three, and four. 
And if you would do it a little bit more in the rhythm, you have a longer pull up. So we do one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. That's the D. Okay, the next movement is the E, and I will first show you a few times the E. Okay, so how to do the E? You're going to throw your right arm, you really make it like a circle movement all the way on horizontal line, yeah, like this, all the way to this position. And you can stop either like this or like this, that doesn't matter. And then with the two hands, you're going to cut through the air, you make a diagonal line till here. Yeah, so you go to the sides of your right hip, and then you stop, left shoulder is touching your left knee. And then you come up, and you're going to with your wrists like this, you're going to press your hands in between the legs and on the same time, you're going to lengthen your spine upwards and you make an arch and you look to the ceiling. And this is the point where you will start again. So from here, hops, you go again. Yeah? For this first move, you could imagine something like, um, like a sword that you would cut like this through the air. You go one and two and three and four. And right hand two arms, and up. Yeah, last time, just for the rhythm. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Okay, that was the E. The last movement is the F, and the F goes like this. Okay, I explain you. To do the F, you're going to come up very quickly with your head down and then your hands, they take your head, it goes through the hair, elbows good, wide open, then you drop your arms, and you drop your hands like this on your thighs and then you really fall into the chair with all your weight, bam, like this. Yeah? One more time, you come up, hands through the hair, you drop the hands and you fall into the chair. Um, it's nice when you come up to make a bit of acceleration, to make accent, uh, to not come up equally, but to come up as fast as possible. You do one, and two, and three, <laughs> and four. One more time, we come up, and one, and drop the hands, and fall into the chair. When you fall down, you can cross your hands like this, it doesn't matter which way around. Let's do it a few times on the rhythm together, last time, and one, Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, that was the F. Another ingredient that we use in uh, the structure to, to, to compose the structure is the other movement, and we call it a stop. And the stop that we chose to use in this film is this stop. It's a posture where we, as if you're sitting somewhere waiting for something or someone, you're relaxed here. This is the first uh, uh, posture and then you take away your right arm and you drop your head. But it's still, you're waiting, you're relaxed. Yeah. Also, every time when we come into a posture, we try, we try to do it really quick as if you, uh, you want to correct something. So not in the same rhythm uh, as you were moving before. The stop to go into the stop is always on, f on count number four. So this would be always four. And when you take the hand away, that's always on the seven. So this is seven. And I will show it to you in combination now with each cell and it will be, it will be clear. Yeah? So we start with the A. Um, we don't do it with the F, you could do, but in the structure we only use the stop with the A, the B, the C, the D, and the E. So in combination with the A, it gives the following uh, 
result. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same thing for the B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for the C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the D, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And at last, the E, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that are all the cells combined with the stop.